Hello, my wonderful Pisces, Pisces, Pisces Collective. Sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, north, no, what up, Pisces? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? All I want to say is this. Protect your children. Don't allow no men or nobody around them that is suspicious, that you heard rumors about. Protect your children and protect yourself. Got a weird message. So it must have something to do with the Pisces reading. So I want to say it. So let's check the energy. Let's see what we got going on. Protect yourself, okay? Protect your home. Protect your children. We are in the 20th century. We've been through a lot. We know better. Please let's not be out here acting stupider than a motherfucker because we are not. We know what to look out for. What we got for my wonderful Pisces? Eight of Swords. Somebody was confused about some shit. Somebody thought that they was making things up in their head about something. But they they were not. They were not. They were right. They were right to give themselves that mental anguish because something wasn't adding up. Something was not adding up for somebody with this undecided eight of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. They just couldn't put their hand on it, their finger on it. Why am, Why is something plaguing me so? Why can't I get this off my mind? Yeah, because something wasn't right. Something wasn't right. Whatever you was thinking was the problem. What else? What else we got for my wonderful Pisces? Aquarius energy. star energy now somebody doesn't doesn't understand or know how to heal a situation this mental anguish what they got going on in their head all you got to do is take your time clear your energy anyone or anybody that's causing you mental anguish you gotta learn how to let it go it is not worth your sanity and when you get this person out of your energy, then you will begin to heal and forgive yourself. Shit happens every day. You got to start trusting your instincts. Your instincts, your intuition was trying to warn you. What else? Five of swords in reverse again. This is the third reading that the Five of Swords popped out in reverse. It did it in freaking Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. The Five of Swords came out twice. Well, three times. Don't You're not sabotaging yourself. You know what it is. And the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Whoever this person is, let's just say they have their hands and more cookie jars than most. They got their hands in more cookie jars than most. You ain't going to sabotage yourself no more when it comes to this person and these three of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. This is another party involved. And you need to see it for what it is. Otherwise, it, it, it's, it's, gonna, it's not going to be resolved. It's always going to be there. Whoever this person is who's in the three of swords energy, this is their pattern. This is what they do. It's always another party involved. They feel like it's better that way. It's a party. Whoever this person is I'm picking up on, they got some mental problems going on with them. And they like to trap people in situations, third-party situations. What else? What else? What else we got for the wonderful Pisces? Somebody likes to trap people in third-party situations. I got to take that that came out. Justice, Libra energy. The scales need to be balanced. And the only way they can be balanced is if you balance them. You know what the truth is. You know about this, this, this passion. You know about the situation. And all you got to do is find the passion and creativity and the willpower and that fire within you to see the truth for what it is. Because you know somebody was lying. What needs to be resolved and set right in your life? 
Only you can do it. Only you can do it. Three of cups. Third party situation. Celebrating with people. Three women. What are you ready to celebrate and enjoy in your life? Whatever you... Listen. You can't celebrate your life if you got drama and bullshit going on in your life. You can't celebrate your life if there's nothing but confusion in your life. There ain't shit to celebrate. And guess what? You can lie all day about it. It's still there. It's still going to be a problem. So what celebration is that to have? Has something to do with family members, relationships, situationships, whatever you want to call the shits. Nine of Cups. Single. Wish fulfillment. And on your own. Make sure you know what wish fulfillment is. Maybe it's time for you to just be single. Take a back seat. So you can find your own wish fulfillment within yourself. What are you ready to celebrate and enjoy in your life? What is it in your life that you can celebrate and enjoy peacefully? What situation in your life is bringing you emotional fulfillment? Knowing the truth. Knowing the truth. Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Are you prepared to make a decision that may change the course of your life? Baby, it's up to you. Can't nobody change the course of your life but you with your decisions that you make. But, but by what you gravitate to, what you go to, what you feel is stable and what is not. Okay? Only you know that. What else? take two of these what else the pisces need to know the most what else the pisces need to know the most growth this is on you growth and somebody ain't gonna believe you that you 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 grown that you changed but guess what so fucking what it is not in their biz motherfuckingness okay that away bitch Growth is for you and not to prove to others that you have grown. They can see that by the way you move, the way you carry yourself and how you're not taking their bullshit. That is it. In the bottom of the deck, destitute, poverty stricken, broke, poor, penniless. Somebody is struggling when it comes to finances. And they want to come on and be on your, your time. Hell no. Skype, fate upsetting your life. Fate upsetting your life. Somebody got some fate that's upsetting their life. And I feel like it was due to somebody else. It was due to somebody else. And you're going to get justice for that. Sun card, warmth and strength of character. Sun card at the bottom of the deck. Whatever this... This fate that is upsetting your life, it has something to do with somebody else. All you got to do is stay strong. Keep going strong and everything will work out. Something is working out in your favor even though you don't feel like it is. Be strong. Something is going to work out in your favor and you're going to be like, oh shit, I didn't even see that happening that way. One more, let's go. Two more. Whatever comes out in the bottom of the deck. What else you got for the Pisces? Just keep going. And continue making good decisions. And ten of cups at the bottom of the deck. And whatever this scythe is. Fate upsetting your life. Ooh, was bringing you the nine of swords. Sleepless nights. Mental confusion. Oh my gosh. And somebody didn't understand why this was going on with this nine of swords, this undecided energy about this fate upsetting your life. The thoughts that keep a person awake, a struggle to make sense of events. Somebody couldn't make sense of these events because they were not normal. They are not natural. That's how you know it had nothing to do with you. This, this was outside doing, outside of your energy. And the Ten of Cups. 
hearts, the wheel of fortune, plans set in motion. So whatever this fortune is, it's good fortune. It's plans set in motion. It's, this is going to happen for you. And you're going to see exactly why things went the way it went. But what it, whatever this fate is upsetting your life had something to do with outside of your energy. You did not cause it. It happened upon you. Sometimes it just happens that way. So thank you, Pisces. Like and subscribe to my motherfucking channel. And enjoy.